think the only thing worse than hearing loss is getting hearing aids that don't really help. Well, Tim, Ergo has a really clever way of improving hearing. Uh, it's really a telemedicine app. Why don't you tell us about what you're doing? Sure. So one of the you know, biggest tragedies right now is that 46 million Americans today have hearing loss, but only about 25% of them get hearing aids. Right? And the reason that they don't get hearing aids is that they're too expensive and the whole process is, is really outdated. It's an expensive, outdated process and it's a very, very medical process. Uh, so we've been trying to destigmatize that whole process and come out with a product that, uh, that allows people to have a very comfortable in-home experience uh, at a price point less than 50% of the cost of traditional hearing aids. So this is our fourth generation product. Uh, it's called Neo Hi-Fi. Uh, and it's a couple major updates from last year's product, Neo. So it's uh, this is our flagship product. Uh, I don't know if I can get that on camera. I don't know if that shows up there. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, if I put it in my ear, you can see how quickly it disappears. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not there. You can't right. see it. So uh, and really, and, and that's the fitting process right there. You know, put them in your ears, and now I can adjust those programs with a quick tap to my ear. Moves to from one program to the next. We have them pre the hearing aids preset uh, so that for mild to severe high frequency hearing loss, so that represents about 70 to 80 percent of the total market today is people with uh, age related or noise reduced noise induced hearing loss that is predominantly happening in the high frequencies, and so we've specific, specifically focused on those. Uh, and with the Neo Hi-Fi, we've improved the bandwidth over Neo, improved the feedback cancellation algorithm as well as the noise reduction algorithm. All of those combined to lead our end users to say, you know, this is a dramatically improved experience from a sound quality perspective. And finally, we have a mobile app that is substantially improved. So the mobile app uh, just allows people to personalize the product uh, to their own needs. So we've got a quick bass treble control, uh, and we've got environmental offsets, so you can pick a favorite program. After somebody's been wearing the product for more than a few days, usually they narrow down to one or two programs that represent their go-to programs for most listening conditions. So that would be like if they're outside in a restaurant or whatever? Right, and uh, so, they're, so what happens in the, in the mobile app then is that you can pick your favorite and then move on to say, you know what, everything is great, but you know, when I'm at Starbucks having coffee with my neighbor, uh, it's just not right. So I'm gonna add the restaurant program as one of my favorites. So now my pro what was my program three default from the factory is now customized specifically for that listening situation for them. And you literally tapped on your ear to change that program. I did, I did. So it's a quick acoustic tap to change programs from one to the next. Uh, and then obviously you can enable and disable those through the mobile app and customize them to your own needs. Now the thing that's really powerful though is effectively you guys are remote audiologists, right? Correct. So it's not, you know, one of the things that is part of the reality of, of hearing aids. This is a class one medical device. Uh, and it does take adjustment to, uh, to wear hearing aids for the first time. We're just trying to make that and we value the hearing care professional and what they can bring to the table. We just want to do it much more efficiently. So we have a staff of, of hearing professionals that connect with every user uh, after their purchase to move them through that process. And they're available for the life of the product. Now, how does that work? You've got the charger, you've got your app. How do you kind of set up this, uh, you know, understand where the hearing issues are? So it's really based on an individual's needs, right? Some people are very, uh, uh, self-driven, right? And we have a ton of online content, so by the time they've received our hearing aids, they're ready to go. And they're ready, they, and they're ready to personalize it for their own needs. The vast majority of people with, you know, mild to severe high frequency hearing loss are covered by our four defaults, and then with fine tuning, they can personalize it to their own needs. So there's no need to quantify precisely the hearing loss. Okay. So uh, these are available today. These are available today. And they're significantly cheaper than uh, typical. Uh, yeah, they're over. They're over fifty percent less than conventional hearing aids. Particularly when you talk about hearing aids of this size, uh, that are completely in the canal style device. In some cases, people are paying eight to ten thousand dollars for a pair of 
devices through the traditional channel. And so, uh, and you're able to do that because of the way you've set up the business uh, in terms of you know remote audiologists and that sort of thing. Exactly. Exactly. Right. right. The, you know we have an excellent product that's on par or better than the best hearing aids on the market. A completely in the canal and visible device uh, for the vast majority of users, uh, and at a very convenient way to uh, go through that process. Right. Yeah, much more efficient. Yeah, this would be a great thing for someone who isn't near an audiologist, right? Like in a rural area or something. Sure. Yeah, and I, I mean, I, whether that's if even people that are close to an audiologist, it's really about what does that process look like for them, right? And how do we? take away some of that stigma. There's a stigma associated with wearing hearing aids, uh, but there's also a, a stigma associated with the very, very clumsy clinical process that uh, makes it painful for people to go through it. And you've uh, used the internet to kind of uh, make that simpler, it sounds like. Yeah, and, and as well as having audiologists on, online uh, and available all over the phone. So tell us a little bit about the batteries and how long they last. Sure. So the hearing aid batteries themselves, uh, inside the device last over 16 hours per day uh, so we guarantee 16 hours after two years of life uh, and then the charger has its own battery uh, which lasts over seven days so you can go away on a trip for a week and not have to worry about uh, bringing any cords of any sort right so you can uh, charge them nightly and you'll get at least a week of battery life out of the charger and then a full day every day from the hearing aids themselves excellent well Tim I appreciate your time and good thank luck. you appreciate Thanks. it